So you went a little lower? I went up a little lower. Oh, okay. oh that's right. It was, like, uh, it was tucked in, you know? Yeah. Which it didn't look too bad when he had the other spacers on it, but the other spacers were really bad. It was like barely any lug nut in the front, like barely. Oh, really? You're barely grabbing it? Yeah. This is how I just tried to get a lug steer on the wrong side of the car. Do what now? Oh, is that what you tried to do yeah. just now? <laughs> you did go around the wrong side of the car. <laughs> Which one's the brake again? Um, <laughs> the middle one. Yeah. yeah, no, I need to get you driving this thing, dude, because it's like, it's like, just gotta get you driving it. Then. Definitely gotta be an open lot with no obstacles. <laughs> Maybe I could drive it in the back when we're done. It feels like I'm all over the curb. You got time? Maybe. It depends on how quick we can knock this yeah, up. I didn't know you had to do something today, dude. Ah, that's all good. We're just going to have a little dinner or whatever. Have a quarantined birthday party. You got the steering wheel lock? Oh, okay. Yeah. Lock the steering wheel. I can get it where I wanted it. It was like this, I think. If if you don't get it, I mean, you can come back tomorrow or fucking. I just want the specs to be good, you know. Yeah. More than anything. I mean, you see how bad they are now. So. Yeah. Let's take a look. So the steering wheel was, uh... I haven't even looked under the car yet, I don't even know what it looks like. It's, uh... Kind of hey, well, crazy every, looking. Every, every time I jack it up, like I destroy it every time. <laughs> right there. <laughs> no problem. Damn, yeah. this bitch is shiny. <laughs> All right. Cool, go get me some tools, dude. Oh, when you're doing alignments, you always start with the rear because you're gonna match the rear up to the front. And the machine would do a calculation for you. This alignment rack's pretty cool. It's got the LEDs in it. When I use that work, it's like 40 years old. Don't have none of this. It's pretty cool. And here you go. In the rear, you got camber adjustment, toe adjustment. Okay. Pretty simple. Got your Hikus. So hopefully I have this thing adjusted the way I want it for a while. All right, so as far as the specs go on the rear, the rear camber, I'm shooting for a nine. And on the toe. The machine will actually show you how to do this, but um, the toe I'm looking for a nine also. As far as the adjustments on the front, there is no caster adjustments. And to do a camber adjustment, you have to go ahead and you have to actually get an aftermarket piece for that upper control arm there. But you're just going to be able to do toe, the tie rod here, loosen, turn. Uh, to do a caster adjustment, you're going to have to go to some aftermarket uh, lower arms right here. So the tension rods, that's what they call them. So it should be quick and simple. You put miles on, on your body being a fucking tech right there is this machine, dude. I would have smashed my knuckles somewhere. You love suspension work, right? Like front end work? It's your favorite? <laughs> Not really, dude. You know, I like. I don't mind doing alignments. I don't really like doing the work. The front end work, but the alignment thing, because I've work, been working. I've worked next to an alignment rack in the past ten years. Yeah. I can't do a lot of text, I can't do a lot of
I try to do as many as I can. Dude, here it's an hour and a half. It's like every other car I try to align. Some cars are pain in the asses, but. Yeah. Did you mess with the camber? That's how it was. That's how it is. Bam. Ching chong. <laughs> Isn't that your slogan or what? part is like the whole front left of the car is like a big blind spot I don't know how close I am to anything on that side of the car <laughs> so like I feel like I'm on top of everything all the curbs and I keep messing up the the blinker I keep reaching for it where it's not at all right guys well I hope you enjoyed the video um, hope you got a little inside little you know, look at what it's like doing an alignment um, it's pretty cool that you know I got some friends that you know work at a pretty cool uh, shop where we can go and use the alignment rack, dial in the car the way you kind of want to. Turns out, after looking at the specs and everything like that, you know I got about two degrees of neg negative camber all the way around. But you know I might fix that later on with some you know camber arms and stuff like that. But I don't know. Toe is right where I want it. It turns out that the caster is a little bit a uh, little shysty, which you can. You know, you get some uh, tension arms that will uh, correct that, but that right there would make the steering wheel uh, feel a little bit lighter if I fix that, which is not really that big of a deal. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, do me a favor and you know hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend.